welcome to my channel. I actually shot that first scene, the greeting of my channel, about five times, so I should probably work on making that a better thing for recording. So I've been absent from this channel for the last week, which happens way too often for my liking. There was a mishap involving my external hard drive and the tiled floor, uh, and videos that were ready to render and upload that were on said hard drive. I ended up losing a SimCity review as well as about four gameplay videos that my sister and I had recorded when she was here. Because she is no longer here, she lives on the other side of the country, we actually can't re-record those and I'm so sorry to her and to you guys if any of you did enjoy watching that first one. I will definitely, next time she's here, make sure that we do record and I'll store the videos somewhere safer. I will also be re-recording the SimCity review as well as a Sims 3 University review which I have actually been playing as well. So those videos are planned and they will come out, but just to explain what's happened in that silent week. For gaming news today though, I do have a few pieces of news to discuss with you guys, which all pretty much revolve around EA Games and SimCity. The first piece of news here being that EA CEO John Riccatiello, which I hope I'm pronouncing correctly, has stepped down. It must be Riccatiello or maybe Richatiello, or unless one of the letters is silent, I might just call him John. Or maybe like Mr. EA Games. Mr. EA Games. Ex Mr. EA Games. Mr. EA Games previously. The former CEO of EA Games steps down after six years of being with the company. He became CEO in 2007 and in 2008 the stocks of EA Games plummeted and they've never really recovered since then, which could definitely be a big part of his leaving. Apparently the blog 24-7 Wall Street listed him as one of eight CEOs to fire in 2013, which definitely can't be much of an ego booster for someone in that position. The big thing about Riccatiello, or Richatiello, is the fact that he portrayed the idea of an executive who actually plays games and is a gamer himself. He wasn't afraid to sit down and have a chat about what he's playing and his thoughts on certain games in the series, and he wasn't afraid to sort of step into the area of new IPs and getting them out there. Things like Mirror's Edge and Dead Space may not have happened if it weren't for John Riccatiello. Riccatiello? Riccati- I don't know how to pronounce his name! It's hard for us not to look at this and think that that SimCity big debacle of a launch had anything to do with this, but I mean it's hard for us to say for sure if it did. It definitely probably wouldn't have helped someone in his position in wanting to keep their job and stay in that position, but you also have to take into account the fact that the whole stock plummet since he became CEO. I mean that probably has a bigger impact than that SimCity launch debacle. Until a permanent replacement can be found for the CEO position, EA's longtime executive Larry Proctor will be looking after the spot. I'm not going to pretend that I know who in EA Games has any sort of say over things that go into games and what happens in a game's production, but I'm wondering if the former CEO stepping down will have any impact on future game releases depending on who the new CEO is. I mean, with the big SimCity release and the big, the big hate wagon on EA that's been going on for the last few years, it's interesting. I wonder if the new CEO is going to really take that into account and try and turn it around, or just kind of keep going the same way that EA is going currently. In more news from EA Games, they have announced a list of games from Origin that current owners of SimCity can choose from for free to make up for SimCity's rocky launch. The titles include Battlefield 3, Bejeweled 3, Dead Space 3, Mass Effect 3, Medal of Honor Warfighter, Need for Speed Most Wanted, Plants vs Zombies, and SimCity 4 Deluxe Edition. They'll be rolling out this free game offer to anyone who has registered their copy of the new SimCity game, rolling out till the 22nd of March, so don't be alarmed if you haven't got anything about it yet. The final piece of news for today is despite the massive problems that SimCity has had at launch and the amount of hate that's been going towards EA Games recently, SimCity has still managed to sell 1 million copies since launch. I'd be interested to find out how many of these were actually pre-orders and how many of them bought the game on launch date or after. I'd say we'd definitely be leaning towards a massive number of pre-orders because the series has such a massive following. People would have been more than happy to put money down and say yes, I would like to play this game, I will definitely play the new SimCity, even after finding out about the Always Online requirement. I'd say we'd definitely see a lot more pre-orders as opposed to people who found out about the launch issues and then still decided to buy the game, although personally I'd still know a few people who have done that, so I don't know, I'd say we probably won't find out what those numbers are specifically, but it would definitely be interesting and give something to think about. Anyway, that's all my news for today, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like and favourite this video if you enjoyed it, and I will be back soon with more news videos. Don't forget as well, I do have a second channel that I post vlogs on every so often. You can find it wherever the annotation is if you'd like to go see that channel. But again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for another video. Bye!